here and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Last time we took on the Chrono Station of Server Space. Today we're ending this whole entire thing right here, right now. No, no, I took a look at the on how long it's gonna be two an hour and a half to two hours tops. If it goes over it, that's fine. We are ending this today. This will be the last video for this entire um, let's play. Unless we get the DLC and I'll get to the um. Unless we get um, the mer uh, uh, multiplayer one day. This is the finale, folks. Folks, it's time to take it home to where it all um, began. message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Mm hmm Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yep. Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. <coughs> All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. <coughs> But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Mm -hmm. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Oh boy. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land. And we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. That's what we train for, folks. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Mm-hmm. It's time we bring it home, folks.
with that. Time to bring it home and end this. But first, let's cut scene. Approaching Soul Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Sorry, fleets reporting. Warrior fleets accounted for and ready. Death fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. go. Shepard. Good luck. You too, Joker. You know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. Mm -hmm. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Oh, wow. The 
It doesn't even look like Earth. And one last Reaper, too. Harbinger. Shit. We got a lock. Hold on. Damn it. Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Ma'am? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. And how are we gonna do that? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crashed shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you. Let's move, folks. Shot. Move. Oh great, another brute, really? Look where we got that trophy.
Cortez. Because there is a way to lose them, too, by the way. There's the shuttle. Keep an eye out for their heavy weapons. Of course, you got both the Reavers and the Banshee. Last gun down. All hammer teams, prepare for landing. Anybody, come in. We need extraction. And here comes the problem. Here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. 
And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here. Cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Mm -hmm. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. You did more than hold on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. Everybody's prepared for this. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. Uh -huh. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. set up a command center in the building over there looks like we've still got groups coming in yes sir but not as many as we'd hoped mm. come see me when you're ready Shepard. will do I thought we'd see more of hammer here by now too a lot of them won't be making it you two go on ahead I'll catch up this is a good way to talk to the final team members the fighting here has been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. You think so? I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Now there's a lot of things that's gonna happen in this uh, half in a mission, by the way. Don't talk, you're allowed to talk to everybody. Well, all your squad, form, squad mates, new and former. James? Hey, Commander. What, no Lola? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... We overbuilt. I know it's hard to say. But this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. 
Don't let them take your will to fight. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push, one last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. Feelings mutual. You're a good man and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there, Lola. <laughs> it's good to hear that. I'll just check somewhere. Shepard, are you holding up? Restless. Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? There's always hope. That's how we got this far. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. Wasn't just me, Ash. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. Lost count of all the times you've saved me. Almost as many times as you saved me, hero lady. It always comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. I'm right. You're a fine soldier. A specter. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Commander. Okay. One more hill to take, Lieutenant Commander. You ready? Aye, aye, Captain. I'm ready. So much may go, Sarah. I think I know a lot of people wish. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? And this is a thing to talk about. Sorry, Dita. Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now, it gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I can play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... It helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, ma'am. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Sim. Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? It depends on whether you've got the crucible good to go. Always ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. <laughs> Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. 
Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're away south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bringing a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. Mm -hmm. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Mm-hmm. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Mm -hmm. Okay, Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob. Jacob Taylor. Certainly. <clears throat> I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda. Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander. Hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. Got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard. I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change, but on our terms. We've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. Good. And Miranda. Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. There's someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that was a good way to say goodbye to everybody. Non team, uh, former team members. And now to talk with the, form, with the team member, the rest of the squad. That's just why I did the Citadel before doing this. Because I wanted to have uh, some fun before the finale. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. Rogan don't want to share supplies. Primarch Victus, I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. Shepard. So I guess this is. Just like old times. <laughs> huh. Uh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. You think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. Maybe even find out what a Turian human baby looks like. I'm worth, it's worth a try. <laughs> I'm game. Though I think adoption's a better idea. Biology may not cooperate. 
Huh. I suppose there will be a lot of little Krogan around soon. Huh. We just have to beat the Reapers first. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. Mm -hmm. I'm by. No one's dying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian. So you better remember to duck. Sorry, Torians don't know how. But I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but your boyfriend has an order mm -hmm. for you. Come back alive. It'd be an awfully empty galaxy without you. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. You'll never be alone. For anybody that's wondering what I'm going to be choosing for the final uh, outcome, if you have played it, I um, was going to say this is, but I think I will do destroy for the heck of it. Um, but synthesis is definitely a, good, a better ending. <laughs> but for the sake of this game, it's that. How are the casualties? We lost people. Some of the wounded here won't make it. The Reapers are closing in. Are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment. Sure. You want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchange them sometimes with their friends or the people they respect. It can also be a way to say farewell. I'd be honored. Close your eyes.
everything. Mm -hmm. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. happens today. You did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Bakara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. <laughs> there are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. I meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. I guess you'll be needing a new planet, too. That's okay. chunk has got room to spare. And a guard dog named Kalros. We're ready, Shepard. Say the word. All right, now, sir. Sec Solarian boot camp. I want to be prepped and ready in five. Get to it. Suck it up, princesses. Worth it. <laughs> God, I love that scene. Somebody go see if the Quarians have anything to eat. Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You did. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity. Or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. So I won. I know. I had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what will you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard, the faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest, and then I will join them. You mean... It is as it should be, Commander. The last Protean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more. And that you were their conqueror. Wow. What about this, though? 
We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Not likely. Nice guy. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In mm -hmm. such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. There's still one more person to talk to you before. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on our pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Renner? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Talizor of us, Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I return the favor. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rip. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Battalion leaders, <coughs> report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses. And get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here. If we get close enough, we've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Booyah! Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. 
Shepard? I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain, and suffering, and loss. But it's also brought us together, as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. Mm -hmm. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother. Every son. Every unborn child. They're trusting you. Depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together, we will defeat them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I get some flammable. Get going. Now, to the final mission. That's not good.
here comes the Banshee. Let's move, folks, because it's getting slaughtered out here, Commander. Damn it, Kilo Company's being rooted.
I'm going to say would be a brute here. Seriously, why you guys go to 4th of July now? Well, it's not 4th of July yet, but God, please.
God, I love this sniper rifle. But yeah, I hope you're all enjoying this. Uh, I sure as heck have. And I, I say, regardless of what's going to happen at the end, and this, I'm still, I love this game, this trilogy. No matter what. Trilogy uh, here on YouTube. Here is the point of no return. Artillery. The company's been wiped out. Commander, do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it. I may have a solution. I should be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. I just need to create a link to the Normandy. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting systems. Sounds like good news, Commander. We'll see. Hammer, this is Admiral Anderson. The Reaper ground forces are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. You heard him, people. Get ready. There they are.
Another one? You heard her. Back to the truck, people. Missile guidance enhanced. Firing! Countering interference. Did it hit? What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even scratched it. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us.
Another one, really? Take that. It gets worse. Of course it does. Never. Agnes just reported in. Several sovereign class reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. And that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett.
From here on in, it's a straight shot. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. Mm -hmm. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Proud of all of you folks. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Feels like this fight's always been ours to finish. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. And here's the downside. Shit. Harbinger. Don't argue, Garrus. We're in this to the end. No matter what happens here, you know I love you. I always will. Shepard, I... This is the last stand of it.
Yeah, and that'll happen. How far do I have to go back? this was gonna happen. I always hate this part of the mission because it's always gonna, it's like you have a hard time aiming. And it's like, don't you have metal gel? gonna be the last little boss and if you really count it as the final boss it's like yeah I agree with square attack as it's worse it's the worst final boss <laughs> yes I'm that old ladies and gentlemen oh my god this a lot because I can I expect seeing this a lot hey who says I'm perfect at this game I mean this is like my fifth death in a game like fifth sixth seventh I, I've lost count how many times I died in this uh, game or this trilogy So yeah, this is like what happened with um, Zero Two. Prepare to see a lot of this sometime. There we go. And that should be it. What's left is the Elusive Man. If you play the game, yeah, it's all that, but if you play the game, you know what I'm referring to. Patriot as the trophy.
You get in here. Shepherd. I still want to know. Anderson, you up here too? Okay, this is a lot different from what I remember. I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Anderson? Damn it. And here comes the other problem. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Adam. You don't get it. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. 
But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power, you shouldn't be able to use. I don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty, the Crucible will allow me to control them. And then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. Oh, oh boy. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? And if you're wrong? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them, but I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You sacrifice too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. You already have. You already have. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! They have the Citadel! They've got us fighting each other instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard.
Commander. We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> There's seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you are under arrest. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you. Anderson, no. Thank you, sir. Anderson. Sure how to Commander. And now here comes the BS part. <clears throat> I'll talk about this at the end. Control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? The solution to what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. I... Wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst, but what are you? A construct, 
an intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. <laughs> the Reapers. Precisely. You're taking away our future. Without future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope, more than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected. But those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. Not really. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can? You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Now, explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. 
Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. I'm with you there. But it has always failed. What with you there, sorry queen. Why? On the, the um, organics were not last ready. two, but... It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. Oh no. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest. And the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open. But you have to choose. Let's kind of destroy them and then just... I do agree with some parts, but I also am on the mixed side with the ending. I'm just gonna go on set. Yeah, but... I've already made my choice anyway, so I'm I understand that's also an option. I am fully aware. But what can you do?
the war is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged. But we won. This victory belongs to each of us. Every man, woman, and child. Every civilization. On every world. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. Yep, I got the, uh, got the Zenig pill. And yep, I got the Zenig too. Yep. Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. 
When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. And that's it. That's the trilogy. That's the trilogy, folks. Um, final thoughts, and I know some people are not gonna agree with me when I'm about to say, um, can't make me new because no need at the moment. Final thoughts, I still enjoyed this game. Um, I love this entire trilogy. Um, I'm glad I replayed it. Um, I'm glad I did this entire stream. Entire, uh, trilogy Let's Play to this day. Well, I, I'm just gonna say it right, right now. Even some people are starting to see that the ending is not as bad. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Queen. Um, you may not agree with me on that. Um, but, um, uh, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying that. But, um, I'm gonna just come out straight to you guys. When I first played this, this was before the extended cut came out because I didn't have the um, internet for the time. Um, I didn't. My, both me and my brother, who both played this trilogy, didn't really mind it. And to be honest, after hearing um, the whole thing with Bioware, I kind of see where they're coming at. Uh, it's hard to make a ending, a trilogy ending that will satisfy everyone. I think. True, but it's just, um, <sighs> yeah, true, um, but I do understand they try to do make it up for a bit with the extended cut, and to be honest, I do agree it is somewhat, and I air quote, somewhat better, uh, um, I, um, uh, but like I said, um, this was back when t um, this game first came out, and, um, uh, and to be honest, um, I still am gonna be going back and play replaying this game, with this trilogy. The, um, the, as I said, this, this game is real fun, um, I recommend it. I still give this entire trilogy probably a solid 9 out of 10, um. Ending aside at all, um, I definitely on the fence are more like a nine on this game alone. Um, but um, I definitely recommend this trilogy, even if you're not an EA fan. And, and um, I played this on PS4, and um, the game's definitely still good on PS4. Um, for as long as well as the other consoles, um, souls, um, as for what I'm going to be doing next, um, I still have Resident Evil 8 to still finish up, um, because we're near the end of that, um, I dare say it, I might try to do Andromeda Let's Play, because I'm seeing a lot of people are going, uh, starting to go back to it. And I'm also on the fence on the side of the people that enjoyed it, but I do agree with the flaws of it. Um, I, but I'll say this, um, once Mass Effect, the, I understand. 
I understand. Um, I'm still dating on that one, so trust me. Um, aside from that, I do have uh, plans for um, another Capcom game coming out, which will come out next month. But once my, um, the actual Mass Effect 4 comes out, I am duff if it's going to be on PS4 and I can't get a PS5. If I am definitely doing a live stream on that. Um, but um, with that said, Ed, this last play is over. I am officially done with um, live streaming this on, P on um, my YouTube channel. This is um this was a fun game. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Mass Effect 3. Me, I enjoyed well two is still one of my favorites. Right? But this definitely re-solidifies why this is in my is in my top four. Yeah, got by sorry Queen. I mean, this still solidifies why this trilogy is in my top four um favorite games of all time. Possible top five. Top five, maybe top four. Sure. Um, and that still holds up to this day. As I said before, Mass Effect 1 will be a solid like eight and a half, um, close to a nine out of ten. Mass Effect 2 is a nine and a half. Uh, it still has some problems with the um, mining and don't get me started with a couple of the DLC. And Mass Effect 3, minus the ending at all, is a solid 9 out of 10. And overall, it's a solid 9, 9 and a half, but if I had to really rate it on um, past the point scale, um, without a point scale, it's a solid 9 out of 10. It's um, definitely worth, um, worth it. I hope I don't get a lot of people ranting on me about the whole my thoughts with the ending, um, or the fact that I'm going to try uh, a drama. But, um, I mean, I played it, um, but I still have to do a guide with it, have a guide with it, to be honest. <laughs> um, I know there are some people who are still, um, actually, actually going back to it, but, um, because there are still things that Andromeda did right, um, combat and, um, gameplay-wise. But I do agree, the f half the squad is bad. Um, uh, with that said... <sighs> One last time, I should go, guys. This is M Gunnel Three. E. See you guys tomorrow with Resident Evil Eight. Eight. And once Resident Evil Eight's done, I'm gonna take some time off, and then we'll start um. So start another Capcom game, The Great Eight um, Detective Chronicles. Else, I should go. Catch you guys later. I'm M Gunnel Three.